everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have for you guys a get ready with me video and i'll show you what i put on face ko from start to finish so here i have my bare face as in walang makeup at all and the first thing i really put on is this one so this is called the puru eye sheet mask yung brand name niya is p u r u and i got this for 259 taiwan dollars i really love this i've been using it for a couple of days now so before i put on makeup i make sure na hydrated yung under eye area ko because if not it will tend to crease all throughout the day kaya kailangan well hydrated so sa loob nito guys madami siyang you know, madaming eye sheet mask. So, ganito yung itchula na isang sheet mask. And then, the thinner portion will go under the under eye area. Malamig siya, girl. Tapos, sobrang basang-basa yung mga sheet niya. Which is perfect kasi, di ba, ayaw mo naman na bumili ng product na hindi soak talaga sa solution. So, like this one, tingin mo, dalawa siya, oh. It's not really hygienic to share one pack, so I recommend you to buy one entire pack for yourself lang. Kasi pag ganito, di ba, nahawakan ko na, eh, di ba, second piece siya. So, kailangan ko siya ibalik. Di ba? So, it's not hygienic to share. So, kailangan one pack per person. What I do is yung excess na liquid, I spread it around my face. Like that. And then, ang second kong ginagawa for hydration din is to get my favorite mist ever. Ito, binili ko yun sa Taiwan kasi girl ang mura niya sa Taiwan. As in, equivalent to 600 plus pesos only. Parang 397 Taiwan dollars lang to. It's called the Aven Thermal Spring Water Spray. This one is empty. Ito galing pa to ng Japan. Hindi na ako nakabili ulit. So this one, oh my gosh! So this one naman, I usually just spray it all over my face. Yan. Sobrang refreshing niya. And I call it my magic water. Pinatawanan na ako ni Mark kasi sabi niya, tubig lang naman daw talaga to. Pero for me kasi, there's a science behind this. Or gusto ko lang paniwalaan. Kasi I attended one of the events of Aven here in the Philippines. And ang daming story behind it. Like, talagang healing talaga yung water niya. And actually, meron silang, ano, may spa sila. Na galing talaga yung water from the spring something something. And nakaka-heal talaga siya ng mga eczema, uh, skin irritations, and stuff like that. So, sobrang love ko yung spring water na yan. So, usually, I would leave this on for like, mga ilang minutes. Magsitsikahan muna tayo, girl. So, I just really wanted to do this um, Get Ready With Me video with a chit-chat version. Kasi nga, feel ko, medyo na-disconnect na ako sa inyo. Because, you know, the makeup tutorials I do are just like, direct to the point. Like, makeup tutorial lang siya. Pero feel ko kasi, fun kapag may chikahang version, di ba? If you wanna know where I got my earrings from, it's from A-List Crafts PH. I'll have their Instagram link in the information box. Sobrang nice. I love it. Very in ang mga tassel earrings ngayon, ha? So, bongga. Get yourself one pair. Also, guys, hindi ako naka-film ng Ask Say in Taiwan. So, what I'm gonna do is combine this Get Ready With Me video with Ask Say. So, I'll just browse uh, through the questions on my Facebook page. This question is from JD Montoya. What is one special unique thing you think that separates you from other beauty vloggers? And what can you consider as your greatest achievement so far as a YouTuber? Before we answer this question, let's take off na our eye mask. Ayan. Ito tinatapon ko na agad. Hindi ko na reuse girl. Okay na yan. And then what I usually do is pat pat pat. Sobrang moisturized, guys. Kit lang kita niya siya, Sobrang moisturized. I love it. What I do next is get a sheet of tissue. Tapos, tinatanggal ko lang yung excess na moisture. Hindi ko tinatanggal lahat, ha? Tinatanggal ko lang yung konti. Yan. Okay, now we're ready for the foundation before we answer the first question. The foundation I'll use today is from Chanel. This is my favorite as of the moment. It's the Perfect Lumiere Velvet foundation. I got it from Best Buy World PH. It's so nice, guys. As in, girl, go-to foundation ko siya lately. Look at this. It's so cute. And then, a little goes a long way. Ganito lang siya. Medyo runny siya, guys, ha? And then, I just apply it together with a sponge. Dab-dab lang. Look at that. Velvet yung finish niya. So, um, it dries matte. It's not totally matte. Not totally wet naman. Saktong-sakto lang. Ang bango-bango pa, girl. My gosh. 
That's the thing with expensive foundations. Ang bango niya. Okay, so what separates me from other beauty vloggers? I think no two people are the same. So, I feel ko, yung quality or traits ni Say, nasa akin lang siya. Alam mo yun? Same goes with other vloggers. Yung quality nila, yung personality nila, sila lang yun eh. I think what separates me also from other beauty vloggers is the fact that I started way back. As in, sobrang tagal. Like, 2010, yun. Old batch na ako, girl. Although, I'm very thankful, guys, kasi after, even after all these years, you know, I still managed to keep my channel alive. Kahit na sobrang dami ng YouTubers ngayon. Before kasi when we started, girl, as in sobrang nabibilang sa kamay ang mga YouTubers sa Pilipinas. So, I'm just really happy. And the second question is, ano to? What can you consider as your greatest achievement so far as a YouTuber? Greatest achievement? I don't, I don't really think that there's one big achievement. Although, madami tayong mini mini achievements like you know being able to work with a lot of brands um being able to travel around the world because of working with other brands and i don't really know kasi feel ko lahat ng small achievements kumpol kumpol sila they're all like a big achievement for me and i'm really really thankful for that next i put on some powder i'm using the hello flawless by benefit this is my everyday powder diba bongo to ang ganda kasi ng coverage niya and it doesn't like crease sa face mo. Second question is from Angelo Yanga. Hi, Miss Say. What are your top five life advice for the people who are in their 20s? It seems that you travel a lot and somehow it inspires me. Before that, magkilay tayo, girl. I have this Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is my everyday brow pencil um, favorite. Kasi nga, girl, it's very easy to use. Girl, promise. And anyway, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya lumitin. Yung kilay ko, nag-fade na yung tattoo. Kailangan ko na ata magpa-retouch kay Pauline Ilaya. But, um, okay pa naman siya. So, game. Itong ginagawa ko. I think I did a video on this. So, back and forth motion. Ganyan lang. Ito kasi kulang yung part ko dito. Kasi ito medyo mataas. Di ba may mga kilay na ganun? So, yun. Kailangan ko siyang dayain at nandrumiyong ko yung taas like that then ang dami kong kalbong parts so I just basically go through yan isang pasada pasada okay then dito naman yung arch yan as you can see yung pencil kasi konting strokes mo lang meron na siya kaya ang sobrang love ko to girl o di ba as in sobrang light lang ng tigam ang light lang ng pagguhit ko o Diba? Isa part na to, medyo kailangan ko ng help from browsings. Kasi yung super duper kalbo na part, kailangan ko na ng powder. Okay, this one no. Oh. Wait now. Ayan, so mas okay na yung kilay ko ngayon. Um, I want to lighten it a bit. So I'm using the Etude House Color My Brows. Ito naman, wala lang, mas magpapalight lang. Kasi pag medyo feel mo makapal or dark, ayan no. Oh. Kapalat mo lang, girl. O, diba? Naging kakulo na ng hair ko. Speaking of my hair, hindi ko alam ko ano yung next color na gagawin ko for my hair. Pero parang gusto ko blonde lang muna for a while. Okay, so back to what I was saying earlier. Siguro ang pinakauna advice ko is to save money. I don't really know kung ano yung financial status niyo sa life. But me, I did not come from a rich family. So I had to really work for it. Yung mga travel-travel ko, I, I worked for it all. Hindi siya yung kuha sa parents or something like that. So, no. I had to work for everything. So, number one is to really work hard and to earn your own money. Kasi when you have your own money, ando na yung financial freedom mo na parang you can do whatever you want. Dun yung, ano mo eh, dun yung power mo to um, live the way you want to live, di ba? So, sunod dun is to travel as much as you can. Kasi habang bata ka pa, syempre, Traveling talaga, it really enriches your soul. Feel ko talaga, traveling is one of the best things you can do while you're young. Sabi ko nga kanina, feel ko kasi yung mga different age groups in our lives, iba-ibang purposes niyan. Like, eto, yung 20s natin ngayon. Ito yung moment na pwede ka talagang mag-adventure, mag-explore, meet people around the globe. Lahat pwede mong gawin sa age group na to or sa 
sa panahong ito. Kasi, when we enter, like, later stage of adult life, syempre, for family na yun, ba? And if you have your own family, I don't really... I'm not saying hindi ka na makaka-travel. Pero iba na kasi yung may inaalagaan na pag may family ka na, alam mo yun, iba na yung priorities mo eh. So, itong, itong stage na to, dito ka dapat talaga nag explore naga adventure and all of that. Number three is meet as much people as you can. I am a firm believer that lahat ng dumating sa buhay mo, lahat sila may purpose. Magcontour muna tayo. I'm using the Chica Thon from Benefit as well. This is a set. It comes with dandelion. Tang ba? Dandelion. Um, the blush, we have Coralista. We have Hula Bronzer, Rocketure for the highlighter, and Dallas. Ayan. So, for contouring, I usually go for hula, of course. And, girl, pag contour, girl, todong contour ako. Look at this. As in, lahat ng sides ng face ko kinokontour ko. And, kanina, di ba? Parang yung foundation medyo mukhang maputi. This one will warm it up. And, sobrang bongga na yan. Look at this. O, oh, ayan. So, I usually contour dito. Okay. Tignan nyo. O, oh, di ba? Nagkaroon agad ng shadow. Tapos, hindi tumitigil dyan. Pati, jaw area. There. There you go. Tapos, syempre, yung temple area kailangan din. Ang temple area is this one. Itong sides. Kung paano yan. Pampa-frame ng face din yan. Hindi lang yung kilay. Nag-frame ng face. And I love hula bronzer kasi hindi siya yung sobrang tapang. Saktong saktong ano siya, saktong contour siya. So sobrang bong ganya. I love it. So usually yan yung contour ko. Another advice is immerse yourself in other cultures. Again, medyo travel related nga kasi nga it really enriches your soul. Kasi if you if you allow yourself to be just, you know, inside a little box and ayaw mo nang makihalubilo sa mga ibang tao, yung mga ibang uri ng tao wala. Doon ka na forever. Parang ano yun? Anong, anong purpose ng life mo na parang wala ka nang... Alam mo yun? Go outside. Go outside your comfort zone. Ako, for the longest time, I've stayed in my comfort zone. Never akong umalis. And I tried going out of my comfort zone last year din yun. And it was just a really exhilarating feeling na parang, oh my gosh, kaya ko palang gawin to. Alam mo yun? So, natry mo siya eh. Kasi ang hirap na mabuhay thinking, what if ginawa ko to? What if ginawa ko yan? Ang hirap mabuhay ng puro what if. So, kailangan, go for it. Alam mo yun? Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Let's work on the eyes. I have this Sin Stealer from Korea. It's from the brand Unpretty Rap Star. Ayan. Si Sin is a famous YouTuber. Tamba. So, I'm just gonna take a brown color for my crease area. Another advice I can give you guys is um, don't be afraid to give. Okay, so, I know there are moments na medyo feeling, ano tayo, feeling greedy tayo. Pero, the moment you allow yourself or just let yourself give without without expecting anything in return, alam mo dun papasok yung magic sa buhay mo na parang babalik sa'yo. Babalik lahat sa'yo. Sabi nga nila, di ba? You get what you give. So, if you selflessly, like, just give without thinking... Anong bibigyan niya sa akin? Anong babalik sa akin? Grabe. Something magical will happen in your life. In fear, sobrang blendable ni ano, ni Sin. Okay? Janzel Enriquez Manlulu. How do you maintain your flawless skin? Kahit kasi chubby, you don't have problems with stretch marks and other stuff. Actually, Janzel, I do have stretch marks and I don't have flawless skin. Promise. Okay? Uh, lalo na sa face ko, if you can see, May mga ano ko dito, I don't know, mga craters. Okay, from ano yan, I don't know, from... Yung iba from nag chicken pox ako before. But I'm not flawless, as in sobrang not flawless at all. I have stretch marks, and stretch marks are natural. So, wag tayo mabulag ko anong nakikita natin online. Na ano eh, na-warp, or na ano yung, what do you call this? Yeah, na-warp yung perception natin ng beauty. So, don't think that stretch marks are not beautiful. They're actually natural. So, it's okay if you have them. Okay lang yan, girl. Lahat tayo meron yan. Another body question from Bianca Selina Yakat. Paano nyo po na maintain yung body na firm kahit medyo alam nyo po curvy type po siya? Ako po kasi major problem ko yung tummy area kaya sobrang nakaka-inspire po na kahit alam nyo po na medyo curvy sobrang firm. 
I'm not firm all over. Okay, I just happen to have an hour shape body shape and yun lang. That's just my advantage kasi ganun talaga yung body shape ko guys. So, I actually have a bigger body compared to the average Filipinas. Don't really obsess too much na you have to have a flat tummy kasi I don't have a flat tummy. Flat, flat tummy, I have bilbil din. And it's normal. Alam mo yun? Just love your body and if ever you wanna um, lose weight sa tummy area, siguro pawas tayo ng konting rice. Si rice talaga yung nagpapataba talaga or nagpapa, alam mo yun? So, bawas tayo ng konting rice. Um, soft drinks are a no-no. For me talaga, no-no. No soft drinks talaga. And siguro bawas din ng konting sugar. Kasi sugar talaga yung number one talaga sa nagpapa, um, nagpapalaki sa atin. So, siguro yun lang. Bawas and then exercise and then eat healthy. Yun lang. Bea Gonzalez asked me, Will you be changing your phone anytime soon? Given the facts, there's P10 now. Or do you have plans to switch back to Apple or iOS? Oo nga, no? meron ng app, may, uh, meron ng P10. Pero actually, um, chinect namin ni Mark yun. Maglagay tayo ng eyeshadow sa gitna. Chinect namin ni Mark yun, yung P10. Pero ang weird kasi I didn't like it that much. Ewan ko, kasi feel ko si P9, ang tagal ko ng kasama. So parang, alam mo yun? Alam ko, si P10, parang hindi ko alam kung mas maliit or mas malaki si P10. Not sure, ha? Parang sakto lang. Or maybe 10 plus din. Pero hindi ako nagkaroon ng urge na parang, ay girl, gusto ko mag-upgrade. No, kasi... Feel ko as long as a gadget is working, I don't find the need to replace it. Although I I would want to change a phone, kasi this itong phone nato medyo nagkikingal na siya. Pero until hindi siya na mamatay, hindi mo na ako bibili. This one is a controversial question. JB Casper, ano masasabi mo sa ibang YouTuber magaling gumawa ng drama to gain subscribers and views? Clickbait. Ako kasi I watch videos then, and if ever may nega sa video. It feels off to watch the video, di ba? Pero you can't really blame a person for airing out their negative thoughts kasi we are all human. So, when it comes to clickbaits and... Okay, when it comes to clickbaits, I actually... Teka, mag-blend muna tayo. Alam mo yung mga gayang tanong? Kailangan pinag-iisipan yung sagot. Hindi pwedeng basta-basta ang sagot kasi ayaw mo rin makasakit ng ibang tao, di ba? Ayan, so isipin natin habang nag-blend tayo, no? Okay? Ang ganda nito, girl look. So, I usually put a lighter color sa gitna. Ayan. For the eyeliner naman, I'm using something from Tony Moly. Perfect Eyes Coating Liner. This one naman is a brown eyeliner, guys. I've been using it for the past um, weeks. The thicker your eyeliner is, the bigger your eyes will be. Okay? The thicker, the bigger. Ayan. Naglagay na ako ng ganyan. Tapos, balik. Ganun lang. Oh, pak. So, ganun kabilis mag-eyeliner, guys. So, now, let's go back to the question. Clickbait. Okay, so, personally, I think it's really up to the content creator whether he or she will do the clickbait sa mga videos. And, as a viewer, I feel na it really depends sa extent ng pagka-clickbait niya. Kasi kapag clickbait naman na may kinalaman naman ng konti, alam mo yun, map mapagbibigyan. Pero yung clickbait talaga na bonggang walang, walang sense na as in walang connect, doon medyo nakakainin siya ng konti kasi nga, you know, as a viewer, you invest your time in viewing such videos. Pagdating naman sa ibang YouTuber na magaling gumawa ng drama for uh, to gain subscribers and views, I just really honestly think it's their prerogative to use this strategy believe it or not it's a strategy to use clickbaits to um stir up drama na wala namang drama in the first place it is a strategy like honestly speaking it's really a strategy that people use or some content creators use to stay on top of their game let's move now to the mascara i'm gonna use my shui mura lash curler which i also got from um best buy world ph maybelline katarina mayol Hi, say do you have plans na magkaroon na ng own house? Hindi po ba kayo nasasayangan sa rent sa apartment? This is an issue that has been um, going on for people na choose to rent, okay? So yes, naka-rent lang ako ng condo here. And I, I personally think that as long as I haven't really found or decided yet where I want to settle down, 
it's okay for me to rent or to, yeah, to pay rent money. Kasi, alam mo yun, aanihin ko yung condo na bibilin ko, dahil bibilin ko na to. What if in a few years time, biglang ayaw ko na pala dito? And even if if sabihin yung investment or something, something, I don't know, I, I just really still haven't gotten to that decision part yet na, Girl, ito na yung forever. Hindi na ako patitira. Gusto ko nang tumila dito forever and ever. So, yun nga. So, as long as hindi pa ako nakaka-decide, totally decide talaga kung saan ako mag-settle down, paying rent is okay for me. We're gonna put on some lip color, and this one is from Ofra. It's their newest color in the shade of Manila. Yun yung shade name niya, Manila. So, let's um, answer another question here. Jasmine Perito asked me, Did you ever regret doing YouTube videos? No. I never regretted doing videos because it got me where I am right now. Oh, oh my chocolates. So bang nice some color. It's just a nude color. I love it. The last question is from Jeanette Layar, and she is asking me how much money she needs for a trip to Taiwan. So if ever you want to know the entire expense list ng trip namin sa Taiwan, you can go to the vlogs at nilista ko lahat ng mga expenses namin doon. And per, sa information box, hanapin nyo lang lahat doon. Lahat ng food, lahat ng train tickets, or something like that, lahat nakalista. And I think, nakaabot kami ng 30 plus thousand pesos ni Mark. Kasama na yung pasilubong and all of that. Pero syempre, if you're just gonna eat or something, um, mas mura. Okay? Kami kasi medyo nag-go overboard kami sa um, shopping parts, so medyo nagmahal lang konte. But basically, we were able to go to um, the most talked about places in Taiwan, and yun, ganun, ganun yung price na nagasas tamen. So, masabi mong tig ano kami, tig 15, something like that. And that is just for three days, two nights. Again, this is a DIY trip, so wala kami masyadong um, tours na, alam mo yung mga group tours wala, so lahat DIY, kaya kaya naman. So, if ever you want a guide, Watch my Taiwan vlog. So this is our finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me Plus Ask Say. If you want more, let me know because I, I enjoyed doing this one. Promise. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!